So wound irrigation first, what do we got? All right, so we've got the splash cap, which has a built-in nozzle and a built-in shield, so it allows you to do high volume irrigation with um, both pressure and, and volume. So I'm going to show you my little fish here, and you can see that I'm generating a lot of pressure. That's knocking the fish all the way down, keeping them down, and high volume. And I started off with that bottle that was full, and I don't want to bore you, but if I, but you can see, boom, that's almost the whole, that's two thirds of the bottle in just a few seconds. You can see here that it's got a different rim, and you have a different kind of um, nozzle. So the spray goes outward, there's no direct pressure on the eye, whereas the splash cap you had, a single nozzle with high pressure. This is going to be no pressure because it goes all out to the side and then trickles down. So if somebody has a splash injury to their eye, you're going to put this directly over the orbit and then you're just going to create a pool of fluid. And what I like to do is I like to decontaminate. Do it once, twice, and now I'm getting off the stuff from the external. So they start off with their eye closed. They're going to start off with their eye closed and you want to wash off the external stuff so it doesn't go back into the eye. So once I have done the decontamination, I'll just keep it on there. And again, there's no pressure. I'll pry the eye open. And once they get a little bit of fluid in there, it's kind of game over because they've got a lot of relief going on. They're feeling but wait, there's more. <laughs> there is the ear cap. I tell you, ear irrigation, the, you know, I've used the one that's the, the screw on to the syringe that kind of puts like the spiral out. And uh, that doesn't work. And then you get out the thing from 1950 that's like puts a gallon of, of fluid in the ear in 10 seconds. You're talking, about the metal, you're talking about the metal syringes, the metal piston syringes. So actually, that's the basis of what I came of how I came up with this product because I found that those really large metal syringes seem to work the best because you're getting a lot of volume and a lot of turbulence into the ear canal with the fluid. And so this mimics that except you're using the bottle as your reservoir. So it's going to, instead of a 60 ml syringe, you've got 500 mLs of fluid. So it's easier to deliver the volume just as it is when you're doing standard wound irrigation with a splash cap. You're able to get continuous volume coming out of the bottle. So there are a couple of different things about this product over any of the ear irrigation um, methods that have existed. Typically when you're irrigating the ear, you would be having the patient lean over and you're going to be squirting water into their ear and pushing it down. But with the ear cap, you're going to be putting this tip into the ear. It's a flexible tip. You can determine the length by just adjusting it yourself. So, because people have different depths and different shaped heads. And so you're going to put the, it's eccentric, kind of like me. So you're going to put the short side closer to the ear and then you're going to put this in the ear against the surface and then you're going to irrigate and then fluid will flow up into the ear and then gravity will pull it down and then you've got a catch basin right here. So you're going to squirt, dump it in the sink, squirt, dump it in the sink. You just do that repetitively. And then what I typically find is that it takes about 200, 500 mLs of fluid in order to get enough fluid in there to get out some of the cerumen. You know, but wait. But wait, there's more. There is new. There's abs abscess cap. What the heck is this thing? So the abscess cap is like the splash cap. It's got a long nozzle, but except this one goes beyond the shield as opposed to being recessed within the shield. So instead of doing the surface irrigation on the skin, you're going to be able to get deep into the abscess to irrigate from the bottom up. That is the schnozzle, the greatest named medical contraption of all time. You know those crappy saline drops that you use to clear out the nose of the bronchiolytics? Well, <laughs> this is apparently the answer to it. And we're actually gonna get a live demo from Renee on how the schnozzle goes. So for your pediatric patients, you're gonna use this device on a 10 cc syringe. And for older patients, let's say 10 years and older, or adults, you would use that same device, but put it on a larger syringe. I'm actually gonna show you how this works because the biggest concern that people have with using the schnozzle is that they're gonna drown a patient. So what you're gonna first do is insert the schnozzle, and this is for adult patients, into the nose and lean forward. For pediatric patients, you would actually turn the head to the side and insert in the upper nostril and push and the fluid will come out the other side. But for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna show you the method you'd use for, for adults. So 
You can see I have the nozzle inserted. You make a really good seal. And then you're going to push as almost as fast as you can, and then the fluid comes right out the other side. You can see I'm not choking, I'm not drowning, I'm talking, and there you go.